King Harishchandra was the ruler of Ayodhya. He was a God-fearing, very straightforward, noble king. His wife was Chandramati and they had a son, Rohit. Once in the court of gods, Indra, Vashishta, Vishwamitra were chatting. Indra asked Vashishta, O great sage, the kings of the Ikshvaku dynasty are your disciples. Is there any who was brave enough to tread only the path of truth amongst them? Vashishta was immensely happy at the question and said, King Harishchandra of the Solar dynasty is the one who will stick to the path of truth at any cost. But Vishwamitra did not agree with this assertion. He rose and said, O Vashishta, Indra has no better business to engage himself in. He asked you first out of regard for you, and you are telling that which makes no sense. This resulted in a wordy duel between the two sages. As the arguments became strong, the whole court began trembling in fear. Even Indra became anxious about the outcome. No one dared to intervene. At last, Vishwamitra raised his hands in anger and declared, Vashishta, if I do not prove you and your disciples false, I will change my name. He shouted as if lightning had struck and left the court in a huff. From there, Vishwamitra came to the earth and went to his hermitage. He started evolving a plan to make King Harishchandra utter a falsehood. As he calmly thought, he realized that his task was not going to be as easy as he had imagined. Sometime later, Harishchandra performed a sacrificial rite, which involved gifting of a large quantity of gold. Vishwamitra waited for a time when Vashishta was away and visited Harishchandra. The king received him with great honor. He washed the hands and feet of the sage, made him comfortable and inquired as to what brought him there. Oh, welcome great sage. May I know what brought you here? I need a gift. Harishchandra agreed to give whatever was asked for. Okay, I need gold. Gold equivalent to before Vishwamitra could finish the sentence, Harishchandra replied without any thought. Oh great sage, it is my pleasure. It is in my treasury and you may take it. Vishwamitra had not expected such a reply. It was his first defeat. Without giving expression to his disappointment, he said, King, let it be in your treasury. I will take it when I require it. He received the honors and went away to his hermitage. One day King Harishchandra was on his way to a hunting expedition. Vishwamitra learnt of this, went ahead of him and sat down in tapas in the forest. Here is again a chance to test him. When the king passed by, Vishwamitra created an illusion of a female crying. Oh, save me! Oh, save me! Minister, can you hear the cries? Let me go and see if I can help. Saying this, he ran towards the direction from which the cries were heard. The ministers and others followed. The sage's tapas was disturbed with all the commotion. The king who saw this bowed before the sage. Oh sage, please forgive me. I have disturbed your tapas. As a penalty for that, I offer my kingdom and wealth. What? These are meaningless words. Hope 
you have uttered these words in a hurry. O sage, I speak with all sincerity. I will keep my word. Loki, I will hold you to it. You already indebted to me. You owe me a heap of gold which you are holding for me. I remember. I will give it to you whenever you demand. O Vishwamitra. Okay. Go back to your capital and arrange to hand over your kingdom and all your wealth. Harish Chandra happily left the place. Vishwamitra held Harish Chandra to his words and went the next day to gain control of the kingdom and all the palace wealth.